Does your back hurt after sitting at your desk for a long time because the chair you bought just isn't cutting it? Well, mine does. So today, stick around because we're gonna be unboxing and putting together a chair I got from Amazon so we can see if this $100 chair is gonna actually cut it. So stick around and let's get to it. Okay, so this here is the JHK gaming office chair that I bought from Amazon to upgrade the chair at my desk. Uh, currently the chair I use is just terrible. Um, but I didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I thought, you know what, let's try this out and see how well it does. And who knows, maybe it'll solve all my problems and my back won't hurt anymore. So let's get this unboxed and go from there. Of course we have the infamous screws. This looks like the shock. Um, I think those are the arms. Wheels. Seat base. Not really sure what that is. seat back Let's check this out and this is kind of a faux leather um, I guess you could call it pleather <laughs> but you know again I didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get a, a real leather chair and um, I know there's some really fantastic gaming chairs out there that people use for office but um, I'm not using this office you know 24 hours a day or all day for work or anything like that but there are times when i'm in the chair three four or five hours at a time so but uh that looks pretty nice two-tone color there and let's see here oh this is the bottom let's check this out All right, yeah, same two-tone color. Feels good. Feels a lot better than what I'm using. And what do we have here? Oh no, these are the arms. Yeah, not sure what those other items are. Probably the legs. So, put that there. And that's it for the box. Let's get this out of the way. Oh look, instructions. Who needs instructions? This is the base that the legs fit on. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the shock. It is, nice and shiny. The arm, and these arms actually move up and down, which is nice. Nothing fancy about that. You know, I do like that they give you this hex wrench and all the screws are hex head. So you don't have to worry about getting another screwdriver. So they don't mix and match like I've seen it done before where you got to have this and a screwdriver. But it's nice. They just give you one tool that you can use. Oh, look, they give you some extra screws. Nice. So, so far, I'm actually pretty impressed with the way it looks and feels. Um, everything's metal, high quality. Uh, the cushions feel good so let's get this thing put together and see what it feels like and one thing i learned a long time ago in putting things together is that you don't ever tighten everything down all at one time you put your all your screws in get them all hand started and once everything is started then you go back around and tighten them that way you don't have any kind of misalignment issues that would prevent you from screwing the other bolts in. All right, now that I got them all started, I'm going to screw them all in. All right, let me just pop the casters in. All 
No screwing on those required, which is nice. Right, let's put the bottom on the seats. And let's see. All right. So put that in there. And we're gonna put this on top of here. And there you go. Let's see here. Okay, so bottom's done. Ah, oh, that actually feels really good. Can't wait to get the back on. All right, man, this is not taking long at all. So let's get the arms on here. Got to put these on here. And again, very important to make sure the arms the right way. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, in my haste, I put the arms on backwards. Oh. <laughs> and this is another reason why you don't ever tighten anything all the way down until you're ready because you just might have to take it off again because you did something dumb like I just did. I'm gonna need to tighten these up first. All right, that's way better. Nice little caps, cap off the holes. Nice finished look. Wow, this didn't take long at all. Everything went together real smooth. Other than uh, myself um, putting the screws wrong, but hey, that is definitely no fault of the chair. All right. Now I'll keep this and I'll keep those extra screws, but I'll put those in a baggie so I don't lose them. And let's check it out. And there she is. Let's see. Oh yeah, much, much nicer. A lot more support on the legs. I can definitely feel it's got more support on my lumbar. And where's my handle? I got the nice tilt. Oh yeah. Nice, love it. What do you think, this one or This one, Ugh. hard, no support, back is too short. Ah, cushiony, much better. This one is out, this one is in. So that's my unboxing, assembly, and test of the JHK gaming office chair. And once I've had a chance to use it for a little while in whether it be playing, working, video editing, whatever it is I'm going to be doing, then I will post an update. But I can tell you right now that this is a winner so far. And for a hundred bucks, you can't beat it. I mean, there's a lot of gaming chairs out there that go for way more than a hundred dollars. And I'm sure they're worth it. And I'm sure they have some features. I know some have like leg rests that pop out that can pop, prop your feet up. And they have some that the seat back leans way back. But of course, I don't know why you'd want that because I don't want to sleep in it. Um, this has enough, you know, reclining back that it satisfies my need. So if you're looking for a inexpensive chair upgrade, whether it be for gaming, for office or combined, like I'll be using it here, then, uh, so far I can say this is a winner. Um, you just can't beat the price. Um, let me know if you have any questions, put them down in the comments section and I'll also put the link to this chair in the description to my Amazon Associates store. Um, it'll be an affiliate link. So if you do purchase from that, I greatly appreciate it as I'll get a little commission that helps keep the channel going. Um, so yeah, go check it out. 
and go get you one. You'll definitely go check out this video here and how you can elevate your home office setup.